Today we're going to be soldering this 8x40 single color LED display module. This is basically just a board that has five shift registers, a decade counter, and a Darlington array. And it drives, it multiplexes um, five 8x8 LED modules uh, like this one here. So to start with, I'm going to put some uh, blocks on all the multi-pack resistors, and that's what we're going to be soldering first. Um, and then the the capacitors. So I'll put some plugs on those as well. There you go. So these are the resistors we'll be soldering. They're um, they're pretty small, um, but they're a lot easier to solder than four individual resistors. A lot quicker to solder as well. So that's what we'll be putting onto the board. This um, board design is pretty simple. They're, all of the resistors are the same value. They're just current limit resistors on the the anode of the um, the LED matrix. So we'll go ahead and place them on the board to start with. I think, uh, I think I have all of them on the board right, right now. So I'll um, go ahead and solder them. I find the best way to solder these, it might be a bit hard to do under the camera, but to just grab them and then tack down one side hold the tweezers above them and push down and then just sweep the soldering iron across make sure they got a, a flat connection on the board because if they're um, if they're positioned at like an angle when you're soldering them down when you come to solder the other side it might be tricky or there could be um, flux residue that gets stuck underneath that won't clean out easily. Could lead to, lead to shorts down the line. Wasn't really hard, was it? And we have a bunch of almost perfectly soldered resistors. Time to move on to the um, decoupling capacitors. These are um, these are uh, 040 two package. So you no know, they're reasonably big. Easy to solder by hand. They're just hard to place. In fact I'm not gonna try to place them all. I'll just um, solder them directly from my tweezers. It's probably easier. So now all the almost all of the passive components have been soldered. We still have these um, larger tantalum capacitors, but I'll solder them on later because uh, this one covers up some of the IC pins. So we'll go ahead and solder on our main shift registers. These are just um, T T sop seven four. HC 595s. Now we just need five of them. Okay. 
We don't put too much salt on this one, it happened. I've got a, um, a short between two pins. So I'll grab some solder wick. Fixed. And we got this decade counter. Next we have the Darlington array. Now we have the Tantalum capacitors. Just need two of these. Okay, that's all the components. Uh, except for the connectors. I can uh, leave those up now. Um, next, we've got these, these holes on the side. These. Um, they actually fit these threaded um, soldering nuts. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, solder those in. So yeah, they're designed to um, so the other side I can screw onto something. Just need to, well, so I can screw each module together. Adds a bit more um, support than just the connector. There we go. So they're all fitted there. It's pretty much done. Now the board can get cleaned. And then it's ready to have its display soldered on and the connectors on each side. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.